Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we are playing Space Engineers. So today we have a um, small update here and that is that I changed the command module. I upgraded it for the Eagle Transporter and you can see that I'm using um, industrial cockpit. So this brings uh, several advantages. Well, one is that the um, the cockpit has a very good uh, visibility compared to uh, my custom uh, cockpit for the compact uh, command module and the other thing is that it has uh, more displays so you can see here that we have five uh, displays in total and what you see right there it, those are custom displays uh, using the um, automatic LCD uh, mod by M Master, so this is a very cool mod because one thing that it does in the cockpit. Well, first it, it displays very useful information, um, and another thing is that since uh, we can have it in the cockpit, it helps with. Um, um well to, it helps because in in the cockpit you can see uh, right away information that is critical while you're flying the ship but also um another advantage is that um uh, since i like um playing uh, like a simulation uh, then i don't need uh, so much the the head up display uh, of the of the game like this display of the of the hot bar that takes away immersion in the game so for example um, I need the hot bar to see what's the current status of uh, a device and and which um, key is assigned to but now for example you can see here in the controls um, I have the main RCS, these are the maneuvering thrusters, then uh, there are the impulse thrusters and the lift. So this is, these are things that I need to, to, to keep an eye on when I'm flying the ship. And in the, I have assigned in the first hot bar the, the, the these corresponding things, right? The one is the maneuvering thrusters, the two is the impulse thrusters and the three is the lift. So now mm, I can just um, rely on the screen, on this screen to display what status are they in. And also it helps me to memorize that the one is the maneuvering thrusters, the two is the impulse, the three is the, is the, is the lift thrusters. And uh, also it's displaying the status of the dampeners so that's a very good thing uh, also um, I have the devices status and that what I do is that I um, for that I I use the second hot bar like to turn off and on uh, devices that uh, draw power and uh, they are not used all the time for example the gyroscopes who are while well, i'm um, on land or landed uh, i don't need them on because they consume a lot of power so uh, i would have them off but now i don't need the hot bar to um, tell me what uh, what status they are in and also it helps me to uh, remind me that the one is for the, 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 the one key in the hot bar is for the gyroscopes the two is for the generators and the, th and the three is for the tanks and so on also here we are displaying the fuel and the power the power and the fuel uh, and this mod uh, can display uh, these statuses with a with, uh, progress bar is very cool and also uh, there is this very useful um, command to display the damage that your ship has and currently you can see there that there is a landing gear 
that seems to be um, broken and then down here there is the the um, artificial horizon that I always use uh, to help me see where where the ship is heading so and if we see here um, we can see here that that one in in effect one of the ships um, landing gears is uh, broken this one right here you see and if we repair it um, it will go away from the or do I need, I need some uh, yeah, some of this okay so now it's repaired and it should be now the the, the damage report should be um, clean and there you are no damage blocks found so that is very useful and it's very good I, I have this um, mod well it's a it's a script it's just a script you can find in the workshop in under scripts and uh, to install it you just have to copy the, the, the code uh, to your programmable block and this is the programmable block where I have it um, installed the script and currently even the the display of the programmer block is displaying um, a command from the from the block and uh, it's very cool you 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 only need to use this uh, um, LCD tag to to make the script work with with that device and in the custom data um, you um, have to write the, the commands there's an echo command that will print anything you tell it to to print in this case it's printing tanks and in the second line there's a command tanks that displays the the status of of tanks and in this case i am displaying all tanks uh, all hydrogen tanks and this is what it's doing here it's it's really helpful to um to you have to manage your ship or your base here in the in the aft compartment i also have the the mod i'm displaying the damage in a big screen sorry this is the power the, but it currently it's taking all the the grids are connected to this one so in the cockpit i'm filtering only the devices um, that um, belong to the to the current grid and here it's displaying all the you see that it's display like solars these these are uh, the solar panels in my base because i'm not filtering it here and here is the damage report and also it's not filtered so it's showing uh, all the damage in in the base but it's very easy to to filter things um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about uh, the new command module is that um, it helps this o this command module o also helps with the access to the ship because one issue is that um, uh, usually there are only two access uh, to the to the ship one is the this door and and this uh, door here it only with it you only have access to the cor access corridor and the command module and this other door that has access only to the aft compartment um, so uh, frequently you will have a module there right and sometimes it can get uh, difficult to to access your ship or imagine if you were to have um, like this well there, there in the future we will have like a passenger module as well um, but anyway you you could have a trouble accessing or or it could be uncomfortable 
uh, when you just want to go to the cockpit and you have like to to go through all the corridor there so now you can access the ship here or you can use this airlock that I installed here well it's not really an airlock it's just a door but it's this uh, airlock door um, this is a, a, a mod as well you can um, I will uh, place the, the link in the description below so now with this door I can just um, have access to the access corridor from here so I could either access the the I could either access the the cockpit you see there that's the door or I can also access the the access corridor here so it's very cool well we have this extra door so if you're planning like to be using that door uh, for the cockpit it's better if you have uh, the door closed and this is the this um, uh, command module that I'm displaying right here is uh, it has some differences with the one that I published with um, uh, version 0 0.6 of the Eagle Transporter. Also, I'm using this this um, mod. Um, it's a mod for pipes. I like it very much because uh, sometimes you you just want like a more discreet. Uh, yeah, uh, geometry for this uh, conveyor stuff. These conveyor blocks are really big. Even the tubes are really big, and you have you can have them like this. Like what I'm doing here, I would need like um, either two um, conveyor blocks here or two conveyor tubes to do this. What I'm doing here, this one is on top of of this other conveyor tube that has access to the to the cockpit. So it's a really nice um, feature there and yeah but uh, as i was saying this this um this is different from the one i published in the in the in the workshop and i will in the future i think i i will make a different workshop item for this particular um command module it's bigger than the one that it's published in the in the workshop and yes i i think it's i'm really happy with this command module i think it, this this one is really um what the uh, eagle Tram transporter needs so that's uh, my um small update and we will um continue the series of the different use cases of the eagle transporter uh, showcasing other modules so stay tuned and See you in the next video. This is Cyber Settler, signing off.